All right, welcome to episode 55 of Adventures in Inbetweening. Today we are looking at FLCL Fooly Cooly, a bizarre and interesting show from back in 2000. It only ran for six episodes, but it's gained a cult following. We'll look at uh, 30 seconds from the first episode. Okay, it's hard to believe that's all from the same episode of a show. Uh, wonderful animation. Let's have a look here. So uh, Naota is coming into the screen from screen right in perspective, going away from us. He just got knocked in the forehead by Haruko's guitar. Got all kinds of wonderful, goofy drawings here. Just uh, the eyes just completely over-exaggerated. Look at these hands and these strange poses. The way that the feet are drawn, you see this one foot is dragging behind and the other one's kicking to, uh, oh, uh, towards us in uh, perspective there. Look at the silhouettes. That's, that's, um, that's just such clarity going on here as the character tumbles away from us. And then we get this pose here where the legs are trailing behind. The legs are going to kick up. That's happening just at the same time as this bat's coming in. Look at the detail on that bat. Now, it's a, based on the detail, it's a wooden bat, but it, they give it an aluminum bat sound, which is funny. It's just kind of more uh, interesting, I guess. Now we've got the bat with all this crazy shape change, but now Naota, Naota is just has very little shape change as his feet are going up to the top there. All this crazy foreshortening on the bat, it's moving fast. Naota is moving slowly. Bat's still moving fast. Now the legs are starting to drag down here. Bat gets slow. Now Naota can fall quickly. And then the bat does a little bit of a bounce at the end there. And once that's all settled, then we get the bat. Clear. Oh, look at the clear silhouette on the final composition here. Just wonderful. Again, a really strong silhouette on Naota, a strong silhouette on the bat. Just excellent use of space there in that entire shot. So here we've got uh, this uh, really strong foreshortening of the hand coming in there. Boop, 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 boop. Got the handkerchief back and forth, back and forth, literally. Two frames, two frames, two frames, two frames. There's no in-betweens there. It's just high contrast, changing shape getting as much done as fast as possible. And it, <laughs> it, it, it's just all about creating the impact that something crazy fast is happening. And then whoosh, off in one frame, revealing the face here, crazy eyes still, the everything settling, the hair, the eyes, the mouth, the mouth is still going poop, 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 just like the uh, handkerchief was. And once that slows down, then we have these two shapes come in. We don't know what they are. Turns out that they're hands, boom, grabbing the head, squashing it down, rebound, stretching it up, and that's how the shot ends. It's just go, 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 until the cut. Just uh, just setting us up for, wow, we don't even quite know what's happening here. So here we have very minimal movement, just the hand waving and the exhaust from the uh, motorcycle here. And something's happening, we don't quite know what it is, just a little bit of movement here, a little bit of movement here, and then suddenly everything changes. We got all this smoke coming out. We got this funny face on Haruko, holding that for four frames, and then going boom into the maximum shape change here. She's immediately in control. She goes off on her moped. Look at the smoke coming up on screen left here, dividing the screen with the smoke on one side, character on the other side. Funny pose here. Lots of contrast, popping forward in one frame. Feet on the motorbike, coming down there in control. Tight silhouette on the right. Have all the smoke trailing behind and then boom a second explosion if you, you watch it in real time it goes boom boom and then all the smoke comes towards us in perspective that's going to wipe the screen so yeah it just you know really high contrast stuff and then we cut to the wide shot and we see haruko just zipping off the screen where we only see her for a couple of frames but we see that the path of devastation that she's left behind this truck is flying up there's cars flying up there's a you know parent and child just kind of standing there in a held cell, just not doing anything. We've got a speed walker going past, completely ignoring it. Just these all these wonderful pieces of contrast that are set up there. Okay, so here we've got a hospital, and we were saying, okay, let's animate this hospital. Well, first of all, we've got to get rid of a bunch of detail. Got to get rid of the text, got to get rid of the shadows and the shading on the windows. There's too much detail on the door there. 
Once we've distilled it down to a simple shape, now we can start animating it, assuming that something crazy is going on in the hospital, the hospital is actually going to act like a character here. Reversing the line of action just as if it were a character. Squashing it over to one side. The smoke that keeps coming out is really nice contrast as well. Kind of makes it feel like it's still its machinery and it, it gives all these uh, different shapes that are uh, contrasting with this one simple shape in the middle. Now the building is now after a bunch of dancing around, we're going into a new direction. Down. Bulging out those sides, more, 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 even more, bulging, 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 and that's setting up, boom, maximum contrast, hospital goes up, Tops, top sides go out, and then you think, okay, yeah, this is all that we could do with it. No, we could start even getting crazier, start twisting it around. Again, we got these simple shapes on the side, that's helping sell it. We got this one shape coming in, twisting, that's kind of like an arm. Now we're breaking the structure, it's getting, turning almost into a 2D shape, getting abstract getting those speed lines on there, and zoop, hospital's gonna zip off the screen. How, how much crazier can this get? Well, it's gonna be off the screen for like 34 frames. It's gonna come back down, we're gonna see underneath, boom, it's gonna hit the ground, we're gonna suddenly see the top of the hospital. The perspective on this is just so cheated and wacky. Now we get a camera shake, it's gonna bounce up off the ground, bounce down, it's gonna bounce to screen right, it's gonna come back down, look at the shapes again changing, bounce off to screen left there, just, uh, <laughs> now it's going to do a 360 degree clockwise rotation. Why not? And boom, there it is. And now that we're squashed, you see we've got the detail back. And then we're popping back up. All the details are there on the windows and the shading. And boom, right into that first pose that we started with. <laughs> if you had to animate a hospital, that's the way to do it. Uh, now that we're into the, uh, the orange robot and the mechanical hand, that uh, emerged from uh, Naota's uh, uh, <laughs> forehead gash where uh, Haruko smashed into him. Now we've got them fighting and we've got all this crazy stuff happening. We've got a handheld camera. We've got this wonderful hand pose. The orange robot is pushing back the mechanical hand. Camera's panning with. You see we have these lovely wires trailing behind, the red and the blue wires, giving us this terrific overlap, nice shapes, it's, it's giving us this sense of organic feeling on top of the, all this mechanical motion that's going on here. Lots of angle change. These artists were not afraid of drawing any, any, any angle with this stuff. It wasn't like, oh, this is hard to draw. I've got to stick with this angle. These, these are master uh, artists here uh, working on this project. So now uh, the head of the robot actually has a hand on it, and it's going to use that to start walking around. Plants a thumb, plants the fingers. It looks up, it sees the orange robot coming in, so it's gonna start zipping around and trying to get away, trailing behind those red and blue wires, anticipating down, getting ready to come and zip off to screen left here. Looks like it's gonna get away, there goes the hand, moving along, extreme perspective. Look at that wedge shape going on there, but look at the orange robot, it has an open hand. Pop, boom, grabs the blue wire, the red wire continues, orange robot's being pulled, Look at this strong perspective with this blue wire here. And there goes the red one. Now we get both hands. The orange robot's getting control. Camera shaking as the, uh, as the uh, mechanical hand passes by the camera. Now we get a pull. Now all this time, now it is being dragged around attached to the back of the orange robot. So as if there wasn't enough crazy animation going on, we actually have a human character bouncing around behind. So here, cut to a couple shots later. Orange robot still has the blue wire gonna smash down here, really pulling, going for most extreme posing we can. Now it is dragging behind, here comes the blue wire coming towards the screen, you can see the perspective there, boom, everything happens all at once, the debris flies up, the mechanical hand crashes down, the pavement is destroyed, camera shake, uh, previous to that, a lot of times just a locked off camera, it really sets up the power of these camera shakes here, look at the detail on uh, all of the debris here. Just all of that stuff, I mean, this is all drawn, hand drawn on paper, flipping pages, keeping track of every single thing individually. Here comes the orange robot towards us, right at us. I'll cut to a couple frames later. Orange robot again trailing <laughs> Naota. Look, so much happening here. We've got all these debris pieces going off. We've got all these wires we have to keep track of. We've got this hand going in a stagger. We, it's just... <laughs> Uh, it's a good place to leave it, because there's just so much going on. It's a, it's a fascinating show to watch. If you can find it, uh, it's worth uh, you know, a couple hours of time. 
and I hope you like the breakdown. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's one of the things that shows off what animation's capable of. Thanks, I'll see you next time.